you can be asked the question, show that dreams are the primary cause of conflicts in erasing in the sun. Dreams are the primary cause of conflict in erasing in the sun. It should be noted that individual dreams clash with the dreams of others, and consequently there is bound to be conflict within the community and within the family. At the community level, the whites have the dream to keep their community or their neighborhood safe from other communities. Therefore, the people at Clybourne Park will not welcome any other community into their area. This explains the reason why when the youngest buy home at Clybourne Park, Mr. Lidney threatens them because of their refusal to sell away the house of what awaits them when they come there. There is conflict because of the dream of water which he had wanted to invest in a liquor business. And Mama does not want because it goes against her Christian values. Nevertheless, when Mama receives the insurance money, she buys a house without informing any of her family members, making Walter to believe that her mother has destroyed his dreams. He becomes depressed and starts drinking alcohol. Nevertheless, Mama takes pity on her son and gives him the rest of the money. There is conflict between Walter and Benieta. Firstly, Walter reproaches Benieta for ingratitude because he and his wife have sacrificed their happiness in order to keep her in her education, which is very expensive. Secondly, Walter loses the money that had been reserved for Benieta's education and Benieta treats him as a fool for investing money in a man whom Travis will not even entrust with his old marbles. Lastly, there is conflict between the youngest and Mr. Lindner when he visits the younger family that he wants to buy the house, double the price that they had bought it. But the younger family are not a family of beggars, as Mama tells Walter, and Walter declines the offer telling Mr. Lidney that they will be probably working into their home that they have just acquired. And at the end of the play, despite the threat given to them by Mr. Lindney of what awaits them, the younger family moves into their newly acquired home and we wonder what awaits them upon arrival.